Today's case was about a decision that Volkswagen in Brazil had to make in the mid-90s where their alliance with Ford had ended and they needed to figure out how to produce in Brazil. The case presents them with two potential solutions. One that is the solution that eventually Volkswagen took and another one which was similar to the solution that Ford took going forward. I decided to take this class because I was really interested in the strategy course that I did as part of the INSEAD core. And I thought this class offered a very strong analytical lens on some of the issues that we touched on in strategy. Students read the case, then they went into breakout rooms and discussed in groups which proposal they would go ahead with. We decided to start by reviewing the case and making lists of pros and cons. You start building the expertise of the Brazilian team faster by involving them from start to finish in the process. Mm -hmm. But this is also time consuming for them as well. Working into groups to come up with a solution, it's much more productive when you have a variety group as we have in INSEAD. That's because whenever you have the lack of any specific knowledge, someone else is going to have it. So you do learn while you're actually taking a decision. We often use this structure of sending students to breakout rooms because it really puts them in small groups that then force them to make a decision together and gives them the intimacy to discuss in a small group before then coming back and bringing their solutions to the whole class. We decided to go for Gerhard's proposal, although we decided to take some of Camila's approach into account. Gerhard's strategy would result in higher cost of doing business, so that we think was the crucial point for choosing Camila. How would you minimize the risk that you see in the Camila's proposal. The thing here is that Camila's strategy ensures that we have Brazilian partners and that will help reduce the institutional risk. My group ended up being the only group that was taking one of the two proposals and so we came back and I think we were able to make a compelling argument but what was nice was that I think that they were able to convince us into another path which was sort of the third way and the point of the course. What I always tell the students is that there's no right or wrong answer. It always depends. And what I'm teaching them is what do things depend on so that when confronted with a particular problem, they're armed with the right analytical toolkit to solve the problem. With this system, each supplier is more invested in the success of the truck than if you had a regular outsourcing relationship. We have maybe 60 or more nationalities in the classroom and therefore we have a much broader knowledge base, a much broader variety of comments from students. There were people who brought up topics that I hadn't thought of myself and that's just, that is something you experience every day at INSEAD. I think a class has gone well when I feel that students get out of their comfort zone and are willing to explore different perspectives, use the analytical tools that we actually teach them in class to think about a problem in a way that they hadn't thought of before. So that by the end of this course, students will have a strong analytical base to confront any organizational problem that they may face in the future.